Good morning. I want to thank each of you for joining us in this, the first day of prayer, as we're preparing for this series of annual conferences, particularly to the members of the Second Episcopal District. We understand the Bible teaches us pray without ceasing. I heard a sermon once that says, pray until something happens. I hope that each of you will engage with me as we get up each morning to ask the Lord's blessing and to challenge ourselves to the will of God as we enter this series of annual conferences. It only takes a moment, but I declare when you are interested in being in communications with God, God will show you his interest in you. So come on, join us as we pray with you. You understand that today we have set out a theme for praying that the great commission of the church will be accomplished. So let's pray now. We have listed several prayers for us just to guide our thoughts and for us to be of one accord as we move forward. Join me now as we go to the Lord in prayer. Holy Father, we pray that we will be on one accord as your servants in accomplishing the church's mission and carrying out the Great Commission, which is to save the lost and grow the same. We pray for the discernment and guidance as we conduct the business of annual conferences. We pray for God's intervention through the workings of the Holy Spirit to grant us knowledge to make wise decisions that we will bring glory and honor and praise to your name. As believers, let us reject superficiality and revolutionize our lives by embracing a profound other-centered God, guided approach to our lives and dedicate ourselves unconditionally to you. We come expectantly with a mind to work we have come to take care of your business. O oh God, give us this desire to use our time wisely and well. This we ask in the name of him who, whose name is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. We pray in that powerful name. And the people said together, Amen. Thank you. I pray that you will feel stronger, and I know the conference is being blessed. Amen.